1,184. And deaths were 369. As a 20th January, two, government continues to intensify testing and patient care throughout the provinces. Three, we have a likelihood of a new strains and variants circulating. These strains are more transmissible and infectious. We are doing genomic sequencing to see if these strains are in our environment. Results will be published as soon as we have them. Four, government will soon be bringing in vaccines against COVID-19. A rollout plan and deployment strategy is being finalized. The nation will be kept informed on all these developments. Five, the level four lockdown that came into force on the 5th of January 2021 has stabilized our situation. In relative terms, and since the lockdown, the number of infections have been decreasing substantially. Equally, our recovery rate has gone up from an all-time low of 54% to the current one, which is 75%. Even though the numbers we are losing to the pandemic are falling, we bemoan the fact that Zimbabweans are dying at all. Any death is one death too many. Still, we need to stay the course by upping our vigilance. The war is not yet won. Six, it is in light of this that His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Dr. Emerson Dambuzom Nangagwa, has decided to extend the Level 4 national lockdown by another two weeks to the 15th of February 2021. The President fully appreciates the difficulties which come with this extension. Livelihoods are being disrupted, yet we must save lives and our nation. We must not lose the momentum, which means we must mask up, sanitize, maintain social distance, stay at home, and get tested. And if positive, self-isolate. I thank you for your cooperation. Together we will overcome. God bless Zimbabwe. I thank you.